Hello guys, I am going to show you my color correction workflow. Uh, this is not like a fancy grading or anything, it's just a, a simple conversion. But I think I really found a, a quick and very effective way to get a really nice looking image from the F3. This workflow only works in DaVinci Resolve because we're going to use DaVinci's uh, color space transform tool. This is a uh, shot from a commercial I did. We have uh, three practical lights, hair light or backlight uh, with a warm temperature. And then uh, she's lit with an aperture uh, 300D uh, that is set to daylight. Uh, so we only have one light, uh, which is uh, cool. This uh, will cause some uh, problems with the image and we are going to fix it. The camera is set to 5600K. We're going to start off with just adding three simple nodes. You can do uh, all kinds of uh, crazy node trees, but uh, we're going to keep this uh, really simple. The second layer, that's going to be the color uh, space transform layer. And in the input color space, uh, we're going to choose Ari Alexa. I have no idea what color space uh, the Sony F3 actually is in. I can't find it anywhere. I've tried almost all color space uh, there is. Uh, and uh, I find that the Ari Alexa color space works best with the footage coming from the F3. And in the input gamma, uh, we're going to choose uh, S-Log1. Uh, and as you can see, we already have a pretty good starting point. But uh, when DaVinci Resolve uh, transforms it into Rec. 709, I think it adds too much contrast. As you can see, we are crushing the shadows. Uh, I mean, you can always lift the shadows and uh, work from there. But we're not going to do that. Uh, we are going to uh, transform it into... Uh, Aria Alexa color space. So uh, Aria Alexa color space and log C and then on the final node we are gonna use Aria Alexa log C to Rec. 709. And as you can see we already have a pretty good starting point. All we need to do is place uh, everything where it uh, should be. If you look at the waveform here, it is uh, a little bit too bright. With going to the first node, this is our like a correction layer, and we're gonna go to the offset and we're gonna pull it way down. So pretty much everything is below 640. Uh, it's a little bit too red. All the uh, orange light coming from the practicals and the uh, backlight is bleeding into the image. So we're just going to add some contrast. It exaggerates uh, the reds even more. We're going to go to the, the log adjuster and almost all the red information as you can see here in the image is uh, in the shadow area. So we're actually going to crush the reds a little bit. To get rid of that. No, it's more shifted towards green. It's a little bit crushed, so I'm gonna lift everything just a little bit. Looks pretty good, uh, but we're doing this very fast. <laughs> this is uh, the actual grade that was uh, in the commercial. You can see it's a little bit uh, different, but I spent way more time uh, on this shot than the one we did now. But you get the picture. This is from the same commercial. Here is uh, the image from the commercial. And this was our starting point. Add three nodes. Oops. Do the color space transform. Aria Alexa. S log one. And we're going to use the LUT. Boom. Much better. Pull it down. You can see that the color is way off. Uh, this is under fluorescent lights. It gives the image kind of a, a green, uh, greenish tint, uh, but it's super easy to uh, remove. Uh, you can you just pull the temperature down a little bit and then it's gone. You can adjust the tint a little bit just to get rid of some of the, some of the green cast. And um, it looks decent, but it needs some contrast. 
we're gonna add can I add a little bit a little bit of saturation and I think she looks pretty okay uh, his skin tones are a little bit green um, it's probably more in the mid tones yes it's very subtle but there it's a better 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 tone you have to push and pull the footage until you get everything balanced out but if you use the color space transform and the ari lat you have an excellent starting point it works just as well with the outdoor footage uh, except that you don't need to do as much balancing unless you screwed up your white balance. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can uh, implement uh, this uh, correction workflow uh, with your uh, Sony F3. Good luck!